hi guys hope you're well so i just wanted to do the um the message the, the guidance readings for the month of june time for us okay uh, first of all apologies that this video is a little bit late i had a crazy busy weekend um saturday i had clients in the morning and then it was my mum's 60th birthday so we had some family time together the whole family it was a really nice uh, day celebrating with mum so that was lush then sunday i was over at the Froome be well and beautiful event um the lovely helen Pink pinkett um, and her events which are always fabulous so i've had a really busy weekend today's an admin day so i've got loads of bits and pieces done but it's time to look at june and see what's happening for us and see what we need to be aware of so I'm going to do the guidance reading for the month of June for the whole month and hopefully it will make sense for you guys. As always, I'm using the Heart Psychic Tarot deck. Massive orb, I just saw go past there. I don't know if anyone else saw that on the uh, screen there, but there was just a huge orb, lots of activity in my room today. Um, very interesting. And then we'll follow up with the Bless Be um, card from the Lucy, Lucy Cavendish deck. Okay, so let's just go with it because I can really feel st spirit energy coming in quite quite close today. There's, there's a real feeling of like, I don't know how everybody else is feeling because it's the new moon tonight, but there's a real sense of, um, just, just a sense of magic all around. I've had this real powerful energy of magic all day, you know, and I often try and see magic every day in my world, but today just really feels quite intense. So yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so we're going to do the stop, start and continue, what we need to be aware of for the month of June. So we've got the stop card. So we've got rebuild. So this is interesting. Okay, so rather than it being a stop card, what I feel this is, more than anything, is stop looking for reasons to not rebuild your world. So something I have noticed a lot lately, lots of people are quite hostile and I've put on my newsletter today for anyone that has been um, subscribed to that you will have got that today and I put like an affirmation at the top and I actually put um, it's what something that I found the other day and it just talks briefly about you know stop looking for the negative and stuff and start seeing the blessings so if you're somebody that's rebuilding your heart center Yes, of course, that's an ongoing journey. And, you know, it, there's no time scale with that. It's a very personal experience. But you've got the beautiful angel wings of light. And you have to actively remove yourself from the hostilities, from the negative energy. And it takes time. It's not always an easy thing to do. But you can't always sort of go looking for stuff that isn't there because you create problems, you know. And quite often people are very good at talking about all the negative all the dark stuff all the kind of crap that's going on but they overlook the blessings of a day and blessings don't have to be huge guys they can be as big or as small as they need to be but we have to see them through the darkness because it's the only way we can not only sort of regain our wings but use them you know so rebuild is a very important card and it's all about a healing journey so i know lots of us are on different healing journeys at the moment um healing the heart center but it's about seeing the positives of life you know not getting caught up in the little things and also knowing that as long as you're aware of your free will and your power from within your heart center how another person chooses to be or is around you kind of becomes irrelevant because you're not going to be able to change that but how you respond to that you have control over so when people are sort of saying oh this person's causing me anger this person's causing me upset whatever else is going on how are you responding to the behavior because you can't change the behavior that's come to you but you can change what you send back to that person so if you're dealing with the lightning rods here just be mindful about that okay give yourself permission to rebuild stop looking for the negative in things because as i say many many times the mind is like a magnet what we think we become so if you feel everything is doom and gloom very angry actually on some level you and only you are pulling that back into your world change your focus change your mindset 
People say it's very hard to do. Mitch don't know how to do it. There has to be a starting point. You have to be the turning wheel. No one's going to do it for you. It has to come from your own heart centre. Okay, and that's a personal journey. For some people, it's quite quick to turn it around. For others, it takes longer. But as a reader, as a medium, as a healer, I can't walk that journey for you. It has to come from you. Okay, so interesting for a stop. Stop looking for things that perhaps were never there. Then we go into a start. This is interesting. So a start card for us, guys. Detach. So it really leads on to what I've just talked about. So this is about, you know, detaching from anything negative. This is about protection. So for some of us, June time is really going to bring to the surface people that whilst we actively love them, they may not be able to be in our world. They may not be serving our highest good. And it's not just people, it's situations as well. But the white dove represents the freedom here. So this is what a lot of people will need to start doing. They need to look at where they're feeding their energy lines. And are there people that are causing hurt when they're around them? And if that's the case, and if they keep bringing hurt and upset towards you, this is about detaching from that, giving yourself permission to go into a space of solitude and knowing that whilst it might be upsetting to sort of get rid of those people or those situations, if they're holding you back on some level and keeping you in a place of darkness, again, you're never going to get towards the light. So like the dove, letting go, allowing new energy to come into your world, freedom release, but most importantly with the white dove, inner peace. And for me, the perfect day is a day seeing absolutely nobody, just with me and Oscar, me and my boy, in the field, in the woods, wherever we go. That for me is a perfect day. But with the work I do, I have to be around people. And I have some beautiful people that I'm around, but I still love my solitary energy. So again, it's about getting the balance because being too solitary isn't always good, but being around too many people, but particularly people that have um, hidden agenda, you know, that's not gonna get you anywhere either. So it's about balance as well. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a tree here. So the tree is coming in to ground and re-earth the energy. And I always say to people, I say this a lot, but it's surprising how many people don't listen to me. If you struggle to feel the vibrations of unconditional love, go into the woods and hug a tree because you'll get healing from it, but you'll also feel that vibration of unconditional love. And it will just sometimes resonate with what actually isn't sort of sitting right in your own heart center. So like the dove, give yourself permission to just move forward, move away from that. And then a continue card, brilliant, joy and stability, happiness in all areas, lots of inner light. And this is what it's about, recognising the inner light that you hold within your own sacred heart. And my light is different to a lot of other people's. It's not, you know, good or bad, right or wrong. It's just different, you know, and it's very important that we acknowledge this. There's lots of circles or cycles in this card. So this also sort of talks about and suggests that there's going to be old patterns coming to an end. New cycles of energy are going to come in. So for June time, lots of us are going to find that people and situations are going to go. New energy will come in. We'll be a bit unsure about it first, but it will actually lead to something really positive. The joy and the stability. And also with stability, you get consistent energy. And for anyone struggling, it's much better to be in a place of consistency rather than up one day, down another. You know, that's not good. That's not balanced. It's unhealthy. Mentally, emotionally, physically unhealthy. But if we can get into this area of joy and stability, you know, and I'm not saying that everything's going to be Mary Poppins, fluffy and unicorns, because it's not going to be like that. But in equal measure... Life doesn't have to be as dark as a lot of people, particularly lately, seeming to see it to be. You know, the blessings are there if you look for them. So just be open to that. And then the Blessed Bee card for, for the month of June for us, a blessing of fire. And I love this because fire is very powerful. And I don't know if any of you guys, um, if you scry with fire, or if you work with fire energy, or if you have fire in your... Um, you know, in your birth chart, 
but fire is very magical it's a very cleansing powerful time period okay but for me i see this as positive so it's passion this is about passion being ignited so for a lot of us june time we're going to see that the passion that we have for our work for our loved ones situations within our world you know but feed it positive fire don't feed it negative energy okay but it's definitely passion for life right so for me like summer evenings with the barbecue going some friends round drinks in the garden looking at the moon and the stars under a night sky you know connection this to me is what a blessing of fire is all about it's the positive energy okay so definitely keep your world simple guys i think for a lot of us june time is going to be amazing but we just have to focus our energy and when the sun is out this is the most important part of this card as well when we've got the sun um, I mean, I know that that's more of a moon, but I'm seeing it more of like the sun and the moon. Use that time to just recharge, cleanse your aura, cleanse your chakra points. If you're not sure how to do that, just stand underneath the beautiful sun's energy and ask your spirit guides, your angels, your helpers to just cleanse and balance you. And you'll feel that vibration from the sun, you know. You'll feel the power of unconditional love. And again, tonight, under the new moon, for anyone that does moon bathing, which is, again, just literally sitting under the moon, like you would cleanse your crystals, we cleanse ourselves. You know, get into the habit of doing this because the world doesn't have to be as heavy. But for a lot of us, I'm hearing real horror stories. And then when we go through the reading and the cards, when I'm doing a reading with clients, we're finding actually their world isn't nearly as half as bad as they felt it to be. They're getting caught up in severe tunnel vision. So see the bigger picture. And that goes back to the joy and stability with the indigo. See things from that higher place of perception, okay? Because often things aren't as broken as, as uh, people view them to be. So I hope it makes sense to just to recap. So what we've got to stop doing is looking for the negative in every situation that's presented because when we do that we rob ourselves of something amazing and positive but continue to rebuild the positive parts within our world know and trust we have the wings of light we can fly and set ourselves free at any time so what we've got to start doing is looking at where our energy is detach from anything not serving a purpose whether it's a person a family member a friend a lover um, you know, a partner, whatever it could be. If there's things or people, situations holding you back, remove yourself from them. Put your cloak of protection on. Give yourself permission to become the white dove. Set yourself free. Continue to have fun. Bring the joy and stability. And I think this is the important thing. Bring that laughter back into your world. If you haven't laughed for a while, ask yourself why not? What's stopping you? Okay, and just bring that fun energy back in and be guided by the light within your own heart center. And, you know, be blessed by the magic of the fire, but don't get burnt by the flames on route. So I hope this makes sense for you guys. Wishing you all a magical June. Let's have some fun. Take care and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bless be. Bye for now. Bye.